God damn. <laughs> All right, so since this is a point of view video and then I'm stuck at this light right now, oh, as I speak, it just turned green. But I'll just give you guys a quick rundown for, about this car for anyone that's new or, or viewing this video. So basically, this is my all new to me 2017 C63 non-S. So I got the regular um, C63 instead of the S. This, the S has like another 15 horsepower and then um, I guess you get the option for carbon ceramic brakes and other options. Personally, I didn't find it to be that much of worth it, I guess, for the price difference, but I mean, if you can afford it, why not? So I just got the S, or I just got the regular one, the C63. It has the same motor as the S, I just tuned differently, so this one makes about like 470 or 480 at the crank, the S makes like 503 or something like that, so I mean, you pick and choose if you think it's this, it's uh, worth the price gap for that much power. At, at the end of the day, the main thing is it still has the 4 liter twin turbocharged hand-built V8 and also for this year which was the pre-facelifted models has the seven speed um, dual clutch transmission I believe so I've had this car for about I want to say maybe like two and a half weeks now three weeks and this thing has literally been nothing but fun so it has enough power sounds insane um, one thing I will mention though just like my C43 or unlike my C43, this doesn't have the AMG performance exhaust. So I don't have any of like the valve button control over here. This thing is just loud the whole time. So that's kind of a bittersweet thing not to have. Some people enjoy having that, some people don't. I know the C43 was definitely something nice to have, especially in this thing. I would have wished the C63 regular non-S had them, but I guess that also wasn't an option on these cars, I believe. But I mean, nonetheless, it still makes a really nice sound and you can always, if you want the valves, um, opt out for an exhaust system that comes with the valves as well. All right, so now I'm gonna just shut up real quick. You guys can just enjoy the car, enjoy the drive, the sound and everything, and start the video pretty much. One thing I will mention about this car is it is very stiff. I'm not gonna lie, the suspension on this car is really stiff. I mean, usually all AMGs are like that, but coming from the 43 to this, you can definitely feel the difference. The 43 was stiff as is, but then this thing is just like a whole different level of stiff. It's crazy. Let's see if we get some open road over here real quick. stock man that's crazy Let's see if we get some downshifts over here this is just crazy man oh my god i love this thing this thing will forever put smiles on your face even like stock it's still i think it's like it's like 420 430 wheel give or take -ish, which is still really not bad for this thing i mean and the m177 is a very um solid engine from what i've seen especially when you start tuning them just a simple tune and down pipe can put you anywhere about like 650 plus horses so i mean these cars are tons of fun
say this though, the burbles on this car stock are not as loud as the C43. Regardless of when my car was tuned or even stock, the burbles on this car are deeper and they're shorter, but it has like a nice little tone to it, if that makes sense. God damn! <laughs> Oh my god, this thing spins like crazy, it's actually insane. My god. And this is on a stock tire too in the back. 285s I believe, and then in the front they're like 265s. Alright, so that's enough driving the car in like a sport plus crazy mode, I guess. So let me just make this turn real quick and then we'll put this car in comfort. Do is just go over here, click this a few times, comfort will show up. And that's like the only mode you have in this car as far as driving it normal and just trying to save gas. So in the C43 and usually like the facelifted models, you can put this car into like individual and have um the uh what do you call it um power reduced mode this does not have that so like the closest thing to power reduced mode is literally just gonna be comfort like this as is that's it not gonna lie man i mean for the money with the price of these cars and what they have to offer this is possibly one of the best like driver focused um oriented cars you can literally buy I mean, a lot of cars these days have like a lot of technology and just buttons and everything, which is cool. But this is like the perfect blend. You still have like some buttons. Um, you still have a raw twin turbocharged 4 liter V8 with no limiter. So that's also something I like about the preface lift. There's no limiter. Uh, it lets you rev the full six and a half thousand RPM. Unlike the new ones, they stop you at like 4K, which is not the best. Um, so that's something that's also a really good thing about this car. The only downside, again, is the suspension. It's really stiff, but it's meant to be like that. But other than that, man, for the money, you get these things for like mid 40s, um, depending on the condition, of course. Um, again, that's the regular S. If you get the, if you get or the regular non S. So if you get the S's, it's gonna be like mid 50s, somewhere in that area. Um, again, like I said, all comes on the condition. But within that price range, man, personally, this is one of the best cars you can drive and it still has a v8 so a lot of people will tell me like you know just get an f80 m4 or the f82 m4 or the f80 m3s and those are good cars too don't get me wrong i personally like those better than the g series but i needed a v8 and again there's nothing wrong with the s55 i love it does it sound the best not really this however does and it's just such a raw like driver focused experience with the seven speed i mean it's a complete different ballgame with the nine speed 
you'll tell the difference for sure if you're able to ever drive one of the two but i mean this is just a whole different level of fun i i love this car and would definitely recommend anyone in the market we're right now looking for a rear wheel drive v8 that's reason reasonably affordable and just tons of fun and then that wants to make a lot of power the c63 pre facelift is definitely the way to go in my opinion coupe or sedan doesn't really matter i just like the coupe personally when it comes to the c63s i think they look better um the flares look wider the hood is just more aggressive the whole car just it's just i don't know what the word is but it's just perfect that's the word the car is literally just perfect looking but again if you want something like this this car would definitely be worth it especially for the price range all right let's pop the hood real quick and show you guys this engine bay m177 this is possibly one of the best engines amg's ever made shout out to i don't know how to say this guy's name but shout out to him for building this thing let me just give you guys a quick walk around of what this car looks like iridium silver and 2017 has the factory amg wheels i love these wheels i'm probably most definitely gonna end up keeping them all i'm gonna do is probably just end up lowering the car but i mean just look at this thing you know i had to get the c63 license plate <laughs> so i got that i was so happy i was able to get that plate as well no one took it but i don't know man just the coupes man the coupes the c63 coupes there's just something about them the lines and everything is just just look at this thing look how this way this thing was designed just perfect so yeah if you guys want a car in that 40 to 50 thousand dollar price range obviously to depreciate sometimes depreciation is a good or a bad thing but depends on how you look at it also follow my instagram and tiktok so i'll be giving you guys a lot of updates and just making a lot of content about this car so if you're interested in all that you know be sure to follow all that stuff i'll leave it somewhere in my bio and also in the description below it's pretty much gonna wrap up the video with the c63 if you guys are new to the channel hit that like button and also subscribe i'd appreciate all the support you guys give me um i got a lot of content coming your guys' way for sure this is only the start for this car so if you guys really want to see like the behind the scenes and everything i have planned for this car for sure follow my tiktok and my instagram i'll be posting like a lot of clips and just behind the scene things that i'll be making on or working on for you guys just to see to enjoy but other than that as i said hit that like button subscribe all that good stuff and let's work our way up